Hey, hey guys. Um, so I'm sorry that we had a last minute change, but we have decided to do our Facebook Live on um, the My Full Facebook page. So if you have any friends or family members or anybody that was planning to watch it, make sure you let them know. Um, so since uh, I'm hosting today, you probably guys already know me, but I'm Heather from My Life All Loved. I run a healthy lifestyle blog. I'm based in Birmingham, but I'm bringing my friends from Happily Hughes, Jessica and Laura. Laura was with me last week, so you probably remember her. Do you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourselves a little bit, though, just in case? Laura, you go can ahead, go Jill. ahead. Oops. <laughs> I'm sharing it right now. Go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Hey, guys. Um, I'm Laura. I blog over at Walking in Memphis in High Heels. Um, I blog about, oh gosh, everything, mainly fashion, but also a little bit of fitness and a lot of mom life, too. So glad you're here. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> um, I'm Jessica from Happily Hughes. I'm an ACE certified personal trainer. And I blog about family, fashion, a lot of fitness, we do travel, so all sorts of fun stuff. Yes, awesome. So we had talked last week a lot about like paleo eating and how that looked for us. So Jessica, do you kind of want to just give like a rundown of like how you eat typically and what made you want to do the paleo challenge? Because I think since people didn't get that background from you, I think they'd love to hear it. Yeah, so yeah. I, so paleo was like really hard for me, really hard for me. Um, I love cheese. So I, but it is, it does cause swelling in your body. So I was like, you know what? I really need to just go paleo. It's just a great way to like reset your body, cleanse your system out. And so when Laura texted me, she was like, Hey, do you want to do paleo? And I'm like, I, I don't want to do it, but I need to do it. So I did it and I'm feeling, I don't know about you all, but I feel so much better. Like my body feels so good right now. Yes, absolutely. I totally agree. Um, and you guys that are joining us, I see that there's five of you at least on right now. And I think it's kind of weird sometimes about how it'll show, whether it's just if I'm personally friends with you, if I can see you've joined or not. But um, thank you so much for being here. Um, and the great thing is that we also have our um, Facebook pages up, too. So when you ask questions, we can see them. So during the whole Facebook Live, make sure you shoot over your questions and let us know what you want to talk about, because really, we're doing it for you. So. <laughs> Um, so Jessica, what about, um, paleo has been your favorite meal that you've tried so far? Cause I always feel like that's interesting to hear. I did, I um, did, eggs um, and steak. Egg. <laughs> so good. Wait, eggs what and what? Eggs and steak? Facebook steak. Page is up too. So when you yeah. Oh yeah, mine is too. So in the whole Facebook live, make sure you shoot over your questions and let us know what you want to talk about. Cause really we're doing it for you, so. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on one second. Sorry. My, my computer is yeah. messed up. No, you're fine. So mine is okay. out last week, and basically it's when yeah. it's on your Facebook page, it's playing out loud. So <laughs> okay, that's what it's. Sorry. Anyway, so I did um, egg whites and steak yesterday morning, and it was so good, so good. <laughs> that's my favorite meal so far. But like a whole bunch of spinach mixed in, it was, and I felt so good. Like my workout yesterday was baller. Like I kicked butt. So I think awesome. I think my body is just like. Thank you for not having like so much crap in your system and like cleansing it all out and eating so much protein and veggies because I feel so good. And my face is clean. Like I normally have breakouts and I don't have any. Like my skin's so clear. So I don't know. This paleo thing actually works. I'm like, I'm on board. I miss you're cheese so though. <laughs> I've been I've been having dreams about cheese, y'all. I can't even tell you. I'm like <laughs> Yes, we went to Mexican the other night, and I was like, I can't get the cheese dip. No. <laughs> no, no cheese dip, no queso. Uh, yep. What's been, <laughs> what's been your favorite meal? Laura, I'll let you go. What's your favorite paleo meal? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Steak. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't know. Um, I like, I make paleo meatloaf a lot. I really like that. But tonight, Ooh. Shane did grill us some filet mignon thick so that's oh, what yeah. I'm gonna have after I get off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds but so I good. Went to Mexican a few nights ago and so the waiter came over with the bowl of chips and salsa and I was like, no no and he, no, no. he was so good no, no, no. he just like was like what what? No one ever tells me no to chips and salsa and I was just like please leave. We we don't need any of that don't bring it over here. <laughs> And then at work, guacamole and was sitting there and like eating it with a spoon by itself. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. 
Yes. <laughs> it goes you. by a lot quicker though. Like you eat it all, you're like, I just ate like ten dollars of guacamole. <laughs> in, like two minutes, you know, refills right over here. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. What about yes. you, Heather? <laughs> Um, mine is probably just like super simple. It's just like paleo chicken thighs recipe and you just do like a bunch of different spices on it and you pop it in the oven and then I like doing roasted Brussels sprouts with it. So it's easy to clean oh, up Brussels. and it's like, yes. easy. so y'all I'm yes. all about no fuss, no muss, no fuss. Yes, that makes easy, too. Easy, right? My word of 2017 is simplify. So I'm really trying to take that into all aspects of life. <laughs> oh, God, that's mine. Mm-hmm. Yep. Come on board, Jessica. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to join them. <laughs> um, let's see here. So I was going to ask you, um, we didn't really get to talk about exercise last week. And I know that people were curious about that part, obviously, of what we're doing. So Jessica, since you're the personal trainer, why don't you tell yeah, us kind of like what you're doing? And actually, I have a personal question that I kind of want to ask you. I want to know what your stance is on, I've recently been learning about, is it called like BBCAs or BBCAs that protect your muscles while you work out? Have you heard about this? Are you talking about um, BCAAs? Yes. Brand of amino acids? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, I, I live by those. I think they're the most amazing thing ever. I take them every single day. Um, really? They help your muscles recover faster. So I do the Cellucor BCAAs in the lemonade flavor. So good. So, so good. Oh. Um, I, and I have seen a huge difference in my muscle recovery because I do, I work out six days a week. I do four days of weightlifting and two days of cardio. And with all that working out, like my body needs to recover. And the fastest way to do that is BCAAs. So I recommend them. I think they're amazing. Oh, okay. Definitely, definitely and what was them. the brand? I've never heard of that before. I seriously need to write it down. So you pour. They're not like if you're, if you want to be all natural, I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, there's some crap in there, but it tastes good and it works. Okay, gotcha. Well, yeah. I'll have to do some more research. I just wanted to hear from somebody that actually is a personal trainer what you thought about it. So yeah, that's Get those are my jam. But I also do pre workout because I can't live without it. Like I don't drink coffee. I just take pre workout every morning. I like and it's it. like crap. It's all natural. I wouldn't recommend it. Oh my god, there it goes again. My computer, you guys. Anyways, um, and then <laughs> exercise. So I'm actually doing, I really want to do a um, warrior dash this year. I've done the Tough Mudder twice, but I want to do a warrior dash. And so that's a lot of upper body. So I've been doing a lot of, I've been doing three days of upper body training and then one day of legs and two days of cardio. That's been oh, my like that. last month. Yep. And so when you do cardio, what's your cardio of choice? I hate cardio. Does anyone else hate cardio? I hate it. Like, <laughs> so boring. I normally take a class. I do this dance class that I'm obsessed with. It's like a hip hop dance class. Um, and I wore my <laughs> Fitbit one time to see like how many calories I burned. I burned like 650 calories in this class. That's awesome. It's, That's it's so good. good. So I do that. And then I do the stairs, the Stairmaster. Oh, so I do yeah. the Stairmaster for 45 minutes. I, I do. love the Stairmaster. I Who loves the Stairmaster? No. I mean, I was like, <laughs> nobody <laughs> loves that. I love, hate it. What I mean is I feel like it, it works so much better so than good. so many other things. Yes. Like your butt after the Stairmaster is like, hello. I'm so <laughs> Um, yeah, Maybe I do that's my problem. I need to get back on one because my butt has been like, bye bye. It's like, no, <laughs> I'm not about that. Life. <laughs> I love it. And Heather, you teach bar, right? Yeah, I teach at Pure Bar here in Birmingham, and I have been for seven years, which is a long Whoa. time. Um, I teach yeah, kind of my bar. Awesome. I've never done Pure Bar. Oh, flab, what is that? Is it like cardio and bar? It's nuts. I don't. I bet you it's a lot like Pure Bar. I bet you it's probably the same thing, but they teach it at Flywheel, which is that cycle studio. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Mm. Fly bar. I almost died. Like, I'm going to be totally honest. Like, it <laughs> was so hard. <laughs> I did it with I all the I'm protein chicks, and they're like, oh, you're going to love it. It's bar. And I'm like, I I've never done bar before. They're like, just just wait. And we did the class, and afterwards, I'm like, I can't move. Like, give me a taxi <laughs> back to my hotel. I'm going to die. <laughs> it's such a good workout. Such yeah, a it really is. It's insane. Yeah. And I'm obsessed with Pure Bar, but we just introduced Platform, which is like the cardio version of Pure Bar. Ooh. And I legit thought I was going to die the first time. Like, at first I was like, I'm going to throw up. No, I'm going to pass out. No, I'm going to throw up. And then I just started crying. No. Like, what? 
<laughs> like my body didn't know what to do and tears just started coming out of my face. So I was like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> How much is that fun? Yeah, you need it. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's a good. Thing. I would love that. I would love that. <laughs> yeah. Laura, what have you been doing? Um, mainly running. I've been doing some stuff at the gym too. Um, I do TRX. I've been doing that for years. Sometimes I do Pilates. Um, I need to get back into my kickboxing class there too. I little do a little bit of everything, honestly, but I really I love to do, I do too. free weights, free weights and running are really my jam. <laughs> I wish I liked running. I wish. I mean, I, it's kind of like everything else it's like I love and hate it you know what I mean like yeah. I feel, you know you feel when good I start after. out I'm like oh this feels good oh my god I'm gonna die yeah and like then, this is the end I mean? kind of once you get your breathing kind of regulated and you start yeah. going you're kind of especially on a beautiful day it, it is kind of peaceful and nice and then at the end you feel like you're gonna die again but <laughs> you don't yes really miss <laughs> well, especially when you can I run without the kids that's always nice yes <laughs> yes true so I feel like one thing that people ask me a lot, and so I'm curious here what y'all's answer is, is how do you fit in your workout and what do you, like, how does that all work? And I'm going to go first because I feel like I didn't finish answering your question, Jessica. Okay, yeah, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. So I try to do Pure Bar like two to three times a week, and then I use Home Fit, which is in-home personal training. They come to your house and bring all the equipment. So I what? literally don't have That's any choice amazing. but to work out. It's amazing. <laughs> so oh, like when Layton was little... That. Yeah, I know, right? It's amazing. I'm totally it's home fit. Wait, Jessica, where are you? Where are you based? In Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, they're in Atlanta yeah. now. It's new. What? They're new in Atlanta. Yeah. I'll have to well, set I mean, you up with Tony. Don't, don't tease me. Don't tease me. That would be amazing. <laughs> I'd never leave my house. Yes, I know. It's so awesome. Because a lot of times it's like days where you don't feel like working out, but then they're there. Yeah. So it's like, well, I gotta do it. I mean, they showed you up. Have my house, to. So. Yeah. 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 So, well, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Man, so when Layton was really little, I do it when he was napping. But now I like just incorporate him in the workouts, which is so fun. Yeah. Um, Does he get it? That is cool. Oh gosh, yeah. Well, some days yes, yeah, some days no. <laughs> just <laughs> like a baby, way. a toddler, yeah. whatever. Both mine are the same way. They're like, we want to work out with you, but now we need attention. And I'm like, oh, just yeah. work out. Just let me work out. out with zone out. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a membership at Lifetime Fitness and they have this great daycare for the kids. So I just drop them off and just go have like an hour and a half to myself. And it's glorious because I stay yeah. home, home with them all day, all day. Yes. So I need a break. So that's my goal. <laughs> like I just go to the gym, drop them off, go work out. And then two days a week they have swim lessons. So we go swim after that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice Wait, little so bit. So when do you do personal training then? I don't. I stopped. Oh, oh, yeah. oh gotcha. I, I just have my certification and I've like kept up with all the, you know, education and all that, but I don't train people anymore because it's, it'll suck the life out of you. <laughs> you know, you're well, an instructor. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, you know. Yes. <laughs> um, or how do you fit it in? Oh, uh, usually my lunch break. Um, my office is, oh my God, like a quarter of a mile from the YMCA and my company, they, all the employees get free memberships to the Y. So, um, yeah, so I usually um, start from my work and I just go ahead and run outside and then run over to the Y, go inside, lift weights, and then run back to my office, like the long way around. So I usually do that or sometimes when I get home, like me and Layton will go for a stroller walk or jog or a little bit of a hike or we'll ride bikes we have a bike seat on the bike too so we usually do something like that and then the weekends that's kind of when we have tons of time together so but yeah. sadly I have never I should have started when I was when she was young like trying to drop her off at the little like child care of the Y never did it and so like now she oh. would like totally freak out she's <laughs> very very good it, she does <laughs> not like people like at all so she'd like scream and cry so I'm like, like no mom this is not what that ship is sailed I know yep. I'm like I yeah, you're out of luck <laughs> Chain would freak out he, he would go crazy listening to her scream and cry <laughs> no I know <laughs> so I gotta tell you guys that and I think that I mean I know Laura you and I've talked about it but I don't know if everybody else knows and Jessica I don't know if I know we hadn't gotten to talk about it but I actually started the paleo challenge and like took a break from working out. I haven't worked out in two weeks. Mm -hmm. What? Um, I didn't know that. 
Yeah, because my body was just like revolting. Like it when was home, not. it was not having it. It was like my hips were so tight and my glute muscles were so tight they were pulling down on my lower back and really causing mm -hmm. just problems. So yeah. my personal trainer was like, "Your body's been begging for a break for about mm, four months now. When are you gonna listen to it?" Yeah. And so I was like, you know what? This is it. If I'm gonna do this paleo challenge, you know, like my version of paleo challenge is gonna be force myself to rest for two weeks. I'm foam rolling all the time. I've gotten oh, two massages and then I'm still walking. Oh. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, awesome it, though. So I'm kind of nervous about introducing mm -hmm. everything back in. But how does your body yeah. feel now? Does it feel good? So much better. Like my, I actually did a little Tracy, what's it called? Tracy Anderson workout on YouTube yeah. today. It's kind of like a soft intro back in and my <laughs> hips weren't too tight and I stretched a ton and I just thought, yes, this is what it's supposed to be like. Yeah, you, need a, you need a break for sure. Yes. That's good that you did that, though. It's good to know when your body needs, like, a break. Yeah, true. But for me, it was almost harder to take the break than anything else because my mind, just like you said, wants those endorphins. I want to get going. I want my endorphins. Yeah, fix. like, I need it. I need it. Yeah. It's almost like a drug. Like, if I go three days without working out, I get so grumpy. And my husband's like, can you go to the gym, please? Like, go. <laughs> Watch the kids just go. Get out of yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Too funny. So, Laura and Jessica, I didn't want to um, forget, you guys have a giveaway going on right now that's part of the Paleo mm -hmm. Challenge. So, do you all kind of want to touch on that and tell people what to do to enter to win? Yes. Um, so, Jessica and I are giving away a Quinny Mood Stroller right now. Um, any choice of color they have available, which is quite a few, actually. Oh, um, that so stroller cute. is so cute amazing though it can like <clears throat> you can um change like the seat on the stroller so that it, they can face forward or they can face you whichever um it can sit straight up recline backwards it has a pretty decent size basket on it too but oh and the hand can go up or down but i love it like we go out and, and uh, we always get compliments. People are like, what is that? I took mine out in New York and I got stopped everywhere we went. Everywhere. Yes. People were like, oh, where's I mean, that stroller it's from? So cool. Yes. It's so cool and modern yeah. looking. Yes. But we're giving one of those away. So that's what I use every day to take Leighton for in a stroll. And I know you use it mm -hmm. quite a bit. I'm I, sure do. I love it. So. It's my but yeah, stroll. just head to one of our blogs, um, walkinginmemphisandhighheels.com or happilyhues.com. And you can enter. Wait. Yep, it'll end um, this week, I think, Wednesday. Tuesday at midnight. Tuesday. I believe that's right. So cool. Um, and then I did want to let you guys know too, because I know we talked about 80 Fresh last week, and Laura talked some about Hello Fresh. Oh, <laughs> Laura, Hello Fresh I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, I actually did talk to 80 Fresh this weekend, and they have agreed to extend my coupon code for you guys. So if you want to use the discount code Love20, you can get 20% off. They have paleo meals. They have like basically diabetic friendly meals. They have high protein meals. They have high fiber meals. So all kinds of different options. If you want to check that out at 80fresh.com and I'll remind you guys throughout the week too, but I've been cooking my meals on, you know, Instagram stories and showing everybody. So I didn't want y'all to miss out on that. If you thought that it had ended because surprise, keep going and going. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That sounds yeah. really cool though. Um, Jessica and Laura, do y'all want to kind of share a little bit? Cause I know Laura and I talked a little bit about last week, the most common questions we get asked from our readers. So Jessica, do you kind of want to touch on some of that stuff as like a personal trainer or fitness expert? Some of the questions you get asked, cause I always think that that's helpful for people to hear, you know, on video if they rewatch it or what have you. I actually have a lot of people ask me what my workout routine is. Um, I actually need to do a whole blog post on this because they're like, you know, what do you do and how do you do it and what, how many reps do you do? Um, but the, the most important thing to remember is if you want to lose weight and tone up at the same time, lifting weights is so good for you, but you need to do high reps. So high reps, low weight. Super yes. important. Um, and then you got to do cardio as much as I hate it. It's so good for you. It's so good for your heart. So good for your metabolism. It's at least two days a week of cardio. And then people also ask me what I eat every day. Um, obviously on the paleo challenge, it's completely different, but I do have six meals a day. Um, and I eat at least 2000 calories a day. And that, that just seems good for me. What about, do you guys do that? Do you count your calories and all that or no? Laura, I'll let you go first. 
Laura's like, nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. So I uh, used to, but I used to use my fitness pal on track them. But yeah. now that I'm doing, because I did Whole30 in January, mm -hmm. and then now we're doing paleo. But typically I do clean eating. So I just try to eat as clean and paleo. And then on the weekend, I splurge and pretty much eat whatever I want. Once. Yes, that's me. That's what I normally do. So when I'm not doing paleo, it's clean eating and then weekends are, you don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> yes. I will say I found myself getting in trouble though, because I would be like, okay, well that means Friday night and then Saturday breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then Sunday breakfast, lunch, dinner. And I was like, no, that's just, that's too excessive. That's like basically <laughs> that's half <funny>. <laughs> now I'm like okay well then on Saturday if I know I'm gonna have pizza with friends and maybe for lunch I'll have a salad with chicken on it I, it's just balance basically yeah. you know mm -hmm. that's exactly what it is but I do yeah. eat I do eat cheese during the week when I'm not doing paleo because oh for yes. sure cheese and wine. wine all the wine, wine. yes wine oh, <laughs> wine yes <laughs> oh Bree's on hey Bree hey girl hey hey Bree like one of my um, best friends in the whole world Oh, so fun. Yeah. Laura, what about you? Have I not touched on any of your most commonly asked questions from people about either fitness or athleisure wear or anything like that? Oh, oh we should share our favorite athleisure wear brands. Oh, okay. yeah, let's do that. Okay, Laura, you go okay, first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, well, of course, Nike. I love Albion Fit, um, especially because yes. they have the toddler line now, too, and I cannot help it. Oh, I, I just saw that. Order it Oh, Did you my God. It? it's getting so expensive because I every know. year it grows a bigger size. I have to go and replenish that same cute print that I have that matches it. I know. <laughs> so but their leggings do fit really well and they run true to size. And I like that they do not slide down when I run. They're some of my favorites. Them, um, Lululemon, of course. Um, God, I know there's probably a ton that I'm leaving out. I really like Yummy. I wore some yesterday, too, and their leggings actually really stay up. Laura, you'll appreciate this. Oh, girl, I was going to say, I want yes. mine today. <laughs> I love those. I love those. <laughs> Since I do mainly running, my biggest thing is always looking for ones that don't slide down. And, like, and some, because I'm 5'2", so I'm always looking for, like, a skimmer or, like, an ankle length, or which would probably be cropped on you, Jessica. So. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so. My giant. <laughs> oh, my God, I love it. But those are my favorites. Awesome. What about you, Jess? Oh man, y'all, it's a long list. <laughs> but I do love Nike. Um, I just bought the cutest outfit from Athleta because they're having twenty five percent off right now. Yes. Y'all. Yeah. I did some damage at that sale. Oh girl, yeah. I went today and I'm like, I I I gotta walk out. <laughs> like I'm gonna buy one outfit and leave. I'm like I don't I don't love Lululemon. I'm gonna say it. Don't love it. Nope. <laughs> I, I got one bra from them, one, and I washed it, hand washed it, and like the padding came out all like lumpy. So I had lumpy boobs, and I'm like, for an eighty dollars sports bra, this is <laughs> unacceptable. I don't love Lululemon, but um, I do love <laughs> K Deer. Have you tried their leggings yet? Who? K Deer. Oh, uh, uh. You gotta try them. That. You have to try okay. them. They're so cute. Um, so K Deer Athleta. Nike, send me a link. I'll be on fit. I'll send you a link. I'll be on fit, of course, because their stuff is to die for, and their bathing suits they are so cute. They are. I think that's it. Yummy, of course, because I I have several of their clothes, and like their tank tops, their built-in sports bras are fantastic. Yes. Yep. I will I say, Jessica, good. you should totally return that sports bra to Lululemon. They, they do a lifetime. So rude. They were so rude. Uh -huh. They're like, you didn't hand wash this. I'm like, yes, I did. And number two, I shouldn't have to hand wash my workout gear. It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, that is true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've only tried their leggings, but I love their leggings, but that's all I wear from okay, them. Maybe I should, I'll, I'll give them a second shot on the leggings. <laughs> okay, so I've got, this oh, is actually no. Lululemon, and I love this, but I will say, Lululemon leggings, I, I mean, and I have a million pairs, and I like them, but I've noticed they don't withstand um, like, you know, on the seams, they rub a lot quicker than a lot of the other brands do. And for me, at least, and they also pick up hair and lint worse than any leggings that I own. Really? I hate to say that. Okay. Yeah. So, Lulu, oh. you're dead to me. Done. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I forgot to say, 
Carbon 38. I love their tank Ooh, top. their stuff is cute. And Sweaty Betty. I've never tried that. Oh, I love Sweaty Betty. Oh, my God. I've never those tried things. either of those. Okay. Girl, get on that tree. And, and <laughs> okay. like love. They make you look so good. <laughs> so good. Yeah. They lift the booty. They lift the booty. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, hey. What are yours, Heather? <laughs> um, I, I will say I am loving my yummy stuff. And actually, Laura and I have a Wear It to Heart giveaway coming up. Th isn't it this Wednesday? This Wednesday. Yeah. It is Wednesday. Yes. Um, and I think I showed it to you guys on my Instagram stories and on my Snapchat because I, I really like their attention to details. Like, they have really fun, like, it'll be all one color, but then there's, like, one ribbing of different color, like, right underneath your, mm -hmm. you know, that little part. And I just think it's kind of cool. Um, yeah. I know this is kind of like, this is more of an athleisure line, but Joa Brown, if y'all haven't heard of that. It's really good, just like simple layering pieces, which I love. Um, I have a pretty decent amount of Split 59 and Aloe. Beyond Yoga, to me, Aloe. like you cannot beat their pants. They're so soft. They're so comfortable. I forgot about them. Their stuff is really good. Yes. Um, Karma, I have a couple pieces from them. Athleta. Um, I only have one pair of Albion Fit leggings, and now I'm starting to rethink what my strategy is in life. <laughs> So yeah, I made a note. Get you some. Get you some. And they're bathing suits. The high waisted bikinis, I'm obsessed with. Yeah. They do have some really cute bathing suits. And they like they pull everything in, so it's you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. that is good. Yeah, I have anyway. like five, five of them. My husband's like, okay, that's enough. You're done. I'm like, no, <laughs> never done. <laughs> At all. <That's> awesome. <laughs> yes. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting other brands, so if I think of them, I'll bring them to the next discussion. So <laughs> there's that. Um, well, you guys, we've already been chatting for um, like over 30 minutes, which is kind of crazy. Whoa, that one's on the right. Good job, team. Yeah. <laughs> oh, does if anybody if nobody has any other questions um, that you want to leave in the comments in this Facebook Live, then we'll probably start to wrap it up. Unless Jessica or Laura, y'all have anything else that you in particular want to talk about or what have you? I think I'm good. Okay, not that I think about right now. I'm sure we'll think of plenty more stuff for next week. Are we gonna do it on your page? Yeah, on mine. Jessica? I'll figure it out yeah. before. It's <laughs> okay. Out. I'll get them all together before next Sunday. Yes. Okay. It'll be on Happy yeah. Jesus Facebook page next Sunday at 9 30 p.m. EST, 8 30 p.m. CST. Yes. Awesome. Yep. Well, thanks so much for joining us, guys. We're so glad to have you here. Don't forget to um, find us all on Facebook and Instagram. We've got at Walking in Memphis and High Heels, Happily Hughes, and then I'm My Life All Loved. So, y'all have an awesome Sunday, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Kick butt. <laughs> <laughs>